Telecom now to aviation. The draft civil aviation policy has been in the works for months as the airline industry has bickered over some provisions like that controversial proposal to scrap the 5 by 20 rule. Now sources say the policy may be before the cabinet as early as next week. Here's what you should expect. After much differing, the civil aviation policy is likely to be taken up by the cabinet for approval next week. We learn the policy may remove the current requirement of mandatory five-year domestic operation rule for an Indian airline to become eligible to fly overseas, even though the provision to have 20 aircraft before flying abroad may stay. The policy is also expected to propose a new category of commuter airlines, which connects the hinterland, enhancing regional connectivity and opening up the Indian skies for countries beyond 5,000 kilometers. The 5x20 rule has seen the Indian airline industry divided right down the middle, with new airlines Vistara and AirAsia India rooting for its removal, whereas the incumbents like SpiceJet, GoAir and Indigo want the restriction to stay. The policy is actually a good one as far as regional connectivity is concerned. Our position is that the 520 must go. Fi abolition of 520 will benefit all airlines. It's not just about Vistara and startups. Abolition of 520 will benefit India. 520, I for one would like to get rid of it. <laughs> it's like a dinosaur. And dinosaurs are heavy and when you have to bear it on your neck, it's a pain in the neck. The policy is also expected to put in place a new system for route dispersal guidelines, which mandate how much capacity airlines have to deploy on smaller, less profitable routes within the country. Another proposal in the policy is auctioning unused bilateral rights. Airlines are opposed to both these provisions. The new route dispersal guidelines will mandate more flights to unviable routes, whereas auctioning of bilaterals could kill hub airports. The Minister of Civil Aviation believes that there are various proposals for the betterment of the sector in the policy. For example, the proposal to scrap or actually amend the 520 rule, the proposal uh, which emphasizes regional connectivity and SOPs for the MRO sector are probably a step forward. But then again, proposal to cap regional fares at 2,500 rupees per hour of flying and the proposal to auction bilateral rights could be a step backwards. The policy remains silent as far as Air India's future is concerned. Remember, Air India is guzzling taxpayers' money. It also does not seem to propose any way of reducing taxation on ATF, which accounts for maximum cost of airlines. In New Delhi, Sindhu Bhattacharya.